Hello there, my fellow squad veterans, and welcome to a brand new episode of Vehicles from the Imperial Guard. Since previously I covered the main APC that these guys use in the form of the Chimera, their main battle tank, the Lehman Russ, and their main self-propelled artillery, the Basilisk, I thought it would be an interesting continuation to talk about a lighter sort of utility war machine next. And that war machine is known as the Sentinel Walker. I know this is not the Bane Blade everyone was expecting, but I will try to put that out soon as well. As far as the Sentinel is concerned, we are gonna talk about what it is, what it is armed with, as well as some of its variants and patterns. I am your host, the Grimdark Narrator, and without further ado, let us learn more about it, shall we? The Sentinel is a one-man, all-terrain, lightweight, bipedal combat walker that is used by many regiments of the Imperial Guard. The Sentinel is most favored when Imperial Guard patrols must move across rough terrain that would completely immobilize heavier vehicles. Sentinels achieve a perfect balance of robustness and mobility, able to negotiate terrain that would otherwise immobilize heavier battle tanks and armored vehicles, while still able to face down enemy fire that would shred ranks of infantry. The Sentinel uses a robust and highly sophisticated gyro stabilizer that keeps the walker steady while traversing any terrain, including steep slopes or deep craters. The articulated legs of the Sentinel allow the walker to stalk quietly through urban ruins or dense undergrowth while still allowing it to achieve an impressive speed over open ground. The crews of Sentinel squads will adapt their vehicles for all kinds of difficult operating environments, making use of everything from large chainsaws for cutting through dense jungle to servo-claw spikes that grip glacial plains. Sentinels are often fielded in squadrons as scouts or infantry fire support vehicles. They can carry a variety of heavy weapons and can bring intense firepower and maneuverability together in one highly mobile unit. Scout Sentinels are lightly armored, however, and are susceptible to heavy barrages of small arms fire. Some Sentinels, appropriately named Armored Sentinels, may possess better cockpit armor plating than the norm, and are fitted with stabilizers to let them carry heavier weaponry. While scout sentinels range ahead of the main force, conducting hit-and-run raids and ambushes, armored sentinels march alongside columns of Imperial battle tanks, or at the fore with Imperial Guard infantry formations, laying waste to the enemy without breaking stride. Both Scout Sentinels and Armored Sentinels are often deployed far from the Imperial supply lines, deep within enemy territory. When operating as autonomous units, the pilots of Sentinel squadrons are often forced to use their initiative, a quality that is not generally fostered in Imperial soldiers. As a result, many Sentinel pilots have acquired a reputation as would-be hotshots, glory seekers, or insubordinate mavericks. The Imperial Sentinel can be armed with a wide variety of weaponry. The original Sentinel design called for a completely open canopy and an assault cannon as the walker's armament, but eventually this design fell out of use, in place of more common weaponry and an armored or partially armored canopy. In the late 41st millennium, the Imperial Guard usually equips its Sentinels with whichever weapons are most tactically useful for a given mission or campaign, but some regiments use their own standard pattern of Sentinel. The most common armament of the Sentinel originates on the Forge World of Mars and carries a multi-laser with a partially armored canopy. Sentinels can also be equipped with autocannons, las cannons, missile launchers, multi-meltas, heavy flamers, plasma cannons, and heavy bolters. All Sentinels can be outfitted with camouflage netting, searchlights, and smoke launchers, but also stuff like Auspex arrays, which are used to equip a powerful hunter-killer missile launcher, 
allowing the Sentinel to serve in an anti-armor role. There are multiple variants and patterns of the Sentinel, and each one presents a different combination of primary weapon, pilot protection, and operational role on the battlefield. The most known variants include the Scout Sentinel. The Scout Sentinel has a partially armored canopy and is used mainly for scouting and reconnaissance purposes. These Sentinels are usually armed with a multi-laser or heavy flamer. Employed primarily for reconnaissance duty and light infantry fire support, the Scout Sentinel is used by many Imperial Guard regiments to locate and obliterate knots of enemy resistance in daring ambushes and surprise attacks. Scout Sentinels are fitted with sophisticated gyro stabilizers to assist them in traversing the rockiest cratered battlefields and the steepest of slopes. Articulated legs enable them to stalk quietly through dense undergrowth or urban ruins while permitting an impressive burst of speed over open territory. The power plants of these vehicles also incorporate noise reduction modifications, so as to not alert the enemy to their presence. The crewmen of these scout sentinels often adapt their vehicles further, and all manner of rough terrain innovations are seen across various Militarum regiments. The Valhallan Ice Warriors, for example, often attach servo-driven claw spikes in the feet of their sentinels that can grip to glacial plains, whereas the Katakan jungle fighters have been known to rig their scout walkers with giant chainsaws to clear a path through thick jungle. The Scout Sentinel is not intended for extended frontline combat operation. Its unshielded crew compartment allows the pilot to survey their prey, but at a cost of making them vulnerable to small arms fire. To maintain mobility, the walker also lacks the armor and ferrosteel plating of a fully-fledged main battle tank. The Armored Sentinel This one has a fully enclosed, heavily armored canopy. The mechanical legs of an armored sentinel can also be modified with recoil compensators in place of additional gyro stabilizers, marginally decreasing their speed but allowing them to fire more powerful weapon systems such as LAS cannons, plasma cannons, and auto cannons. Sentinels become superb battlefront units when they are fitted with extra armor allowing them to stride through a deluge of weapons fire that would cripple or destroy a lighter combat walker. Sensor arrays or OSPEC systems are replaced with additional power cells and cooling systems to allow the armored sentinel to fulfill its role as a mobile weapon platform. Armored sentinels are used as roving hunter-killer units, forming search and destroy teams that stalk and destroy enemy battle tanks. Once their quarry is located, it is eliminated with practiced efficiency, plasma and last cannon fire slicing through the thickest ablative plating. The Drop Sentinel The Drop Sentinel has a modified engine and a modified canopy in order to fit inside of a Valkyrie assault carrier. Two Drop Sentinels can be carried by the Valkyrie Sky Talon and dropped into a combat zone. These are dropped from a low altitude and use grav chutes in order to make a soft landing. They are usually armed with a heavy bolter, heavy flamer, or multi-melta. The Support Sentinel These are used as light artillery support units for Imperial Guard armored companies and fire support for infantry regiments. These Sentinels are usually equipped with either a multi-rocket pod or a missile launcher pod. The Sentinel Power Lifter This one is a non-combat logistics platform and is equipped with two large power claws that are used to grip and hold heavy objects. These can include missiles and other ordnance and transport them across short distances or lift them into place on other Imperial vehicles. However, the power claws can be used as very efficient melee weapons against enemy infantry, in extreme circumstances. For more detail on this one, I would like to reference you to the 1986 movie Aliens. Some known sentinel patterns also include The Armageddon Pattern 
This one is armed with a LAS cannon, one of the most effective anti-tank weapons in the Imperial Guard, and it is used in a very effective anti-armor role. The canopy is also fully enclosed with armor plating. The Cadian Pattern this one is armed with an autocannon, which is effective against more elite armored infantry units and standard vehicles. Its canopy is also fully enclosed and fully armored. The Catacan Pattern This one is armed with a heavy flamer and chainsword, for use in the dense jungles of the death world of Catacan and planets with a similar tropical environment. This pattern is both highly effective at clearing a path through heavy jungle terrain, as well as decimating lightly armored units. In accordance with Katakan Jungle Fighters' combat doctrine, most Katakan pattern sentinels are very well camouflaged. The canopy of the sentinel is only partially armored, but it is covered in camouflage netting in order to better blend in with its surroundings. The Elysian Pattern this one is armed either with a multi-melta or a heavy bolter. The multi-melta variant is used by the regiments of the Elysian drop troops as a substitute for more heavily armed and armored vehicles, like the Lehman Russ, that cannot be used by the Elysians in their role as light infantry. The heavy bolter variant is used to mow down densely packed infantry formations and is vital to the Elysians when they are operating against a larger force of infantry. Both variants of the Elysian pattern have been modified to fit inside the Valkyrie and are fitted with grav chutes, so they can be parachuted into combat alongside the Elysians themselves. The canopy is only partially armored. The Mars pattern this one is armed with a multi-laser, which is effective against enemy infantry formations and lightly armored vehicles. This one also uses a partially armored canopy. The Praetorian Pattern The Praetorian Sentinel is quite a different beast compared to its other brothers. The main difference includes the removal of almost the entire canopy and a simpler walking mechanism. The legs of the Praetorian pattern have one less knee joint compared to other patterns and are covered in thick plate armor. This is in accordance with the Praetorian combat doctrine, which is heavily focused around lines of infantry in countless ranks firing in massed volleys, supported by heavy weapon teams. The Praetorian Pattern Sentinel complements this strategy by acting as a mobile heavy weapons team, rather than a fast attack or recon vehicle. This pattern has been known to mount a Punisher Assault Cannon as a primary armament. The Talarn Pattern This one is armed with a multi-laser. It has larger feet than the standard Pattern Sentinel. To provide better balance on the loose sands of the battle zones, it is used in. It is normally manufactured with a partially armored canopy. While the many variants of the Sentinel can have slightly different technical specifications depending on the situation they're used in, for the final part of the video I will just go with the statistics of the Scout slash Armored Sentinel. It has a crew of 1, it weighs 7.5 tons, its width is 2.34 meters, its height is 5.34 meters, its maximum speed on road is 45 km an hour. Its maximum speed off road is 40 km an hour. Its armor for superstructure and hull is 45 mm. And that, my friends, has been what I wanted to tell you about the Imperial Guard Sentinel Walker for today. Are you a fan of these lighter vehicles? Do you use them in your army? Let us know and discuss in the comments below. Was this video informative or entertaining? In that case, please click the like button and subscribe for more episodes. Thank you very much for watching and I wish you all a great day. The Emperor Protects.